I'm Steve and I'm driving the 2018 Mercedes AMG C63 Estate and this is my brother-in-law's car. Alright, I'm driving the 2018 Mercedes AMG C63 Estate. It's actually my brother-in-law's car. The car belongs to my brother-in-law. Come on! The way I'm going to do this one, instead of just me driving it for five minutes and giving you my opinion on it, which really doesn't mean much, I'd rather actually ask the person who's had this car for about six months, I would say, ask him some questions about it. So, Dennis, why did you choose this particular car? My wife's got the GLC 43, so yep. the small SUV. Well, it's not small, the mid-size SUV Benz. What and, year was uh, that? That's one? a 2020, but I've always wanted the C63. Yeah. Uh, but I never really had any use for one. But then as the market started to come down post-COVID and all the post-COVID prices uh, started to crash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I found this one and I was looking for an estate as well because we've got a one-year-old, so we needed a bit of practicality. Yeah. So really a superpower dad mobile. <laughs> yeah. uh, so how do you find like the storage and all that sort of stuff? Is it is it, yeah, is it much good. different to than say the coupe? Oh, compared to the coupe, yeah, yeah. most definitely. There's, uh, there's, there's more than enough storage here for a pram. The baby seat next to me, which is fine, doesn't really hinder the passenger side. It really ticks all the boxes for what we were looking for. How long have you had it for, Dennis, just um, to confirm? Well, where are we now? We're in November and I yep. got it around March, April. About yep. six, seven six months. months. Perfect. Okay. So, do you know much about it as in terms of specs? Yeah, so this is 100% stock. Okay. 375 kilowatt, yep. 4 litre. Like the W204, which was a 6.2 litre naturally aspirated. I was looking at those because I do like those estates of the pre-facelift. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, but this, this being the 2018, between 2015 and 2017, they had the 7 speed transmission. This okay. is the 9 speed, okay. hence the 63S. Yeah. Not that that makes a huge difference, and to be honest, I probably wouldn't even know. Yeah, it's 100% stock, not really looking at doing anything to it from a, a modification perspective. Yep. Okay. Uh, I do go to a few of the AMG meetups, and some of those cars are. are pretty crazy with what they've done yeah uh, but look at the moment I enjoy it as it is honestly the way that it sounds stock it, you can't really beat that V8 sound it's just brilliant so many damn potholes can I give it a bit is that what it costs yeah. oh my god with a little nudge mate take it sideways and bump it out of the way it does kick out a lot yeah I think it's because it's there's no weight maybe on the back I don't know yeah there's weight <laughs> <laughs> So have you serviced it yet I have, in the I've six done, months? Yeah, I've done one minor service and funnily enough, I, uh, I actually called a few different Mercedes dealers and got different pricing. So okay. I ended up paying around $770 for a minor service. But that varied all the way to a thousand between a few really? different Mercedes dealers. So okay. it does pay to just call around. And some yes. people say, oh, you don't have to go through a Mercedes dealer because it's out of warranty. But to me, it was also convenient because the dealer's only a few kilometers and look, with a, a car like this as well, when you, you're you reselling it, it's always better to go to a dealer. You know, when you're talking $100,000 plus cars, you know, even after warranty, it's people that buy these cars want to see it's been serviced at Mercedes, not at uh, Autobahn or whatever, yeah. you know. What about fuel? You know, just an average of what? We put premium in it, well, so it's what, 230 a litre? Yeah, about 230, but I, I must preface, you don't buy one of these cars for fuel efficiency. <laughs> I understand that, but yeah, how much? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> What's so the cost? For a full tank, yeah. uh, it cost me about $160 a litre. Okay. Oh, sorry, $160 a tank. In and K's? K's, I get, I'll be lucky to get 500 out of that. But I don't yeah. drive this every day. I drive this, you know, maybe once or twice a week, if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So when I drive it, I tend to have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. Responsibly, of course. <laughs> of course. Jeep. I like Jeep. So, did this come with any options? So, like the seats, for example, is this the performance seats or the sports seats? Yeah, so these are the performance or race seats as they're known. This model, or, or the 63s, can be opted for non-performance and race seats, so they're a little bit more throne-like. The difference is, with these seats, this is a very stiff car. It's a very yeah. firm car, so yeah. 
being in these seats, you feel every little bump. People like it, some people don't. I want to ask an owner of a car that's had it for six months is obviously when you've lived with it for so long, you get to know it's little things that you love about it and also hate about it. So can you just give me, you know, a couple of things that you really love about this car? I love just that, that, that the sound of that engine. <laughs> Dennis, thanks for letting me take this car out for a spin. It's been great, and it's been great to learn more about the car off you and what it's like to have it for six months. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me get that extra five cents from Google. Thank you. Google? Yeah, makes sense. Google's, whatever. Yeah, Google. I think that's the end of the video. <laughs>